wanted to just give you guys a short uh, little video kind of explaining. So guys, when I tell you guys that I use like the horse oil and the visible different gel and different things like that, yes, my turmeric face scrub, everything that I say that I use, I actually really do use those things. But like I just recently ran out of this and what you guys see me make today. I just came and transferred it, transferred this bottle downstairs. If you guys see me make it when I made it and I put it into this horse oil. So now, guys, I am going to be trying this particular product to see. I'm trying to do a all natural skin lighting, guys, that can save us some money. And the only way for me to know if it works, I have to use it myself. I can't just do a video and tell you guys to try this stuff and not knowing if it works. So now... This will be, tonight will be day one of me using the almond oil that you guys see me make. So yes, I do buy the horse oil. Um, I do do my turmeric face scrub every day, but it's multiple remedies that I do. So even though if I use the horse oil, right, with, when bumps and all that type of stuff come, the horse oil for me is not going to get rid of the bumps. That's what the turmeric face scrub is going to do. So then the, with, um, with, the, uh, with the horse oil to remove the different scars and stuff, that's what, you know, the skin lightening stuff would do. So I am trying to all natural remedy as well. So if this don't work out for me, I will be back to buying my horse oil and the visible difference gel. So the tumor rack and all that for my dark circle. So sorry if I'm confusing to people like, wait a minute, I thought you said you do this. I thought you say I do a remedy of things, guys. So what I'm trying to do now, my channel is more like DIYs. I don't do the wigs anymore. So I'm trying to try out all natural stuff and bring it forward to you guys. And if it works, we're going to put it out there so that we can save some money. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So I don't want you guys to think, oh, she said buy this, but then she's doing that. So I do use this stuff. And I also just made the product and I'm going to try it out. So that's what I wanted to let you guys know. Have an awesome day and stay forward for the video. I wanted to bring y'all on board. I am about to make my all natural uh, face cream and it's a natural lightener and I'm just going to let you guys know what I have in this bowl right here I have uh, orange zest lemon zest almond oil in this bowl this bowl has aloe vera gel this right here is a uh, distilled water and I have a preservative in here and these are the almonds that I'm going to soak and then I'm going to pop them out of the shell I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna grind this in a blender, guys, and uh, then I'm gonna actually make me a uh, all natural lightener face cream with all natural uh, products. And this is not water in it. That's um, almond oil, guys. So I didn't put any water because the water is in the preservative. So this all from the lemon and the uh, all from the lemons and the orange uh, zest peels that's in here in the almond oil. Okay, guys, so I'll bring you guys back later. I got the almonds all grated. I use almond oil and um, a little bit of uh, glycerin. So now I'm just going to take it through to get more of the almond um, oils out and kind of any of the peanuts kind of save that. And then I'm going to mix this all up, guys, into my um, almond night cream for um all natural skin lightening guys so uh stay tuned i'll bring you back when i start mixing it all together Alrighty. i am ready this is all what i extracted from the almonds i'm putting that directly into the aloe vera gel guys putting that directly in there okay and this is the oranges and lemon zest, guys. I'm going to put that directly into the olive oil gel. And the last thing, guys, I wound up replacing water. I wound up taking water out of this recipe. So uh, this is my preservative, guys, and my um, cosmetic glycerin. And everything is going in there. And now I'm just going to mix it up. And this will be an all natural and healthy lightener for your skin, guys. So I'm going to mix it up. And once I get it all mixed up, guys, I got to sterilize some jars. 
and I'll come back and uh, put it in the jars and show you guys what it looked like. I'm going to have to use my blender for this. Yeah, because it's not. I want it to blend really nice. I don't want it to be half nothing. Everything got to be on point, on point, on point. So, to have that on point, the best blend, I'm using my blender, guys. I need to use the other one, not this one. Yep, this one. Okay, I better stop doing this. I got cut last time. So I'm going to mix it all up, guys. And once I get it to the consistency that I want, I'll bring you guys back. I added my essential oils in here. And this is the essential oils that, that I added in here, guys. And I did put a preservative in it, but like I said, this is my first time making this face cream so i will say that because we are using um almonds and um oranges and um lime juice lemon juice we might have to uh put it in the refrigerator and it does have the aloe vera gel in there so this would be an all natural lightning now what i'm doing guys i'm um heating up some cosmetic beeswax because i wanted to have like a uh a more nice like wax stickier uh, consistency so once I add the uh, cosmetic beeswax in there I bring you guys back guys right, so if you guys can see the consistency and now guys I am about to add the cosmetic uh, beeswax to it and uh, putting that in and now I'm going to blend it up it's gonna make it a little bit more Stiffer guys, let me put some hot water in there because I don't want that to yep, that wax to go down in my sink. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to use my stick blender again, guys, and um, blend it up. And I'll bring you guys back after I get it uh, blended up. <laughs> so this is a nighttime face cream so I should have used uh, my funnel but yes this is nighttime um, face cream so when you use this guys you want to use this at night and it has a nice centrous orange smell and um, I did put a preservative in here guys but just to be on the safe side I will keep mine in the refrigerator so uh, that's just to be on the safe side. Um, I might take one and leave it out and see what it does. And we'll go from there. But yes, um, I think that it probably it should go in the refrigerator. But um, yes, it's going to remove those dark spots and all that stuff, the imperfections in your skin. And like I said, it has that almond in there, guys. So uh, got some vitamin E in there as well. So as always, guys, thank you guys for watching and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.